All right, it's 40 degrees out today. Um, I've drained all the old nasty stinky gas out. I put five gallons of fresh gas in and I've got the fuel line loose. I actually took the pressure regulator out to flush anything that's in the line. And then I'm gonna circulate this key, you know, three, four, five times to get whatever's in the line as much out as I can. And I put some injector cleaner additive in that I bought that I didn't buy. When I was pulling tanker, I got about 20 gallons of it. But um, we'll go ahead and Crank this over a few times to get this, uh, see if you can even see it. <laughs> right there for a oh. And yes, I am going to make a video rolling that dent out. Um, I haven't been able to reply to a lot of comments. You know, I'm working on a puny laptop basically just to upload videos. And it's just such a pain in the neck to get on the internet that it takes me probably two hours to upload a video. So I just go ahead and upload the videos and I don't bother scrolling through them. I see people commenting. I just cannot do a lot of commenting. Um, I comment on a couple on my phone, but you know, don't think I'm ignoring everybody because I'm not. Um, you'll just have to bear with me. TP administrator's supposed to be sending me some uh, motherboard and stuff from my other computer, and Chris is working on my laptop, my good laptop. So hopefully, uh, within the next 30 days, I will have a decent computer to use. Hopefully. So we will see. So we'll go ahead and put that fuel line back on and that should be enough fuel out of it. Let me see if I can. Yeah, it's still nasty gas. I need to do it a couple more times. Well, surprise it's starting to dry up. runs a little crummy, but it will uh, get better as you run it. Injectors are probably gummed up so bad that uh, it doesn't want to run right, so I've actually got injectors I'll put in it. And then uh, go ahead and run it for a while. See how it does when we back it out. All right, I know I got my door open. I like it. All I got is just a stupid airbag light on, and I got a brake light uh, out. But um, actually, that's just to get it out of gear. That's not a brake light. So we're going to uh, move this. I got three lug nuts on every wheel, except the right rear's only got two. So this is only done by trained professionals now. Let me get a rag on the dash for the camera to sit on. Remember, don't try this at home, folks. Let's see if this thing will move. Oh no, it went into reverse. Runs crummy, it stinks because of the nasty gas in it. <coughs> Whoops, I know what that noise is, that's my uh, We'll be back. I got a oil catching pan underneath it. Okay, we're back. Remember, done by trained professionals. Don't attempt this at home. It's done on a closed course with professional drivers. I know one thing, it's cold out. Look at all that smoke burning off that motor. because it's kind of quiet. Get out of my muddy yard without getting stuck. Maiden voyage. I can feel that 
wobbly ass tire. some reason All right, so here's the issue. You start it up and let it run for about five or 10 minutes and we lose all our oil pressure. It slowly and gradually goes down. Um, as the oil warms up, you know, and the viscosity thins out a little bit, it, uh, we lose our oil pressure. But there's no engine noises other than the lifters clicking when it, uh, When we lose our oil pressure, the lifters will click. So the only thing I can come up with is there's a pressure relief valve in the bottom of this oil filter housing that has either got some trash in it and it is stuck. I'm not sure, but we're going to have to get it off and check it. Uh, that's about our only option right now. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get the oil pressure filter back on it get this thing drained, get it back in here, and uh, see what's up. I don't think it's anything serious, but we're going to have to pull the intake off to, to get at this thing. So 